What's good YouTube? I'm Robert with the Crosscut Creations channel. Today I'm going to show you how I finish my wood pen blanks. This will also apply to any hybrids that I do. So if it's resin and another material, so whether that's Corian or uh, resin and wood or resin and pine cone or whatever it is, this will apply to hybrids as well as all wood pen blanks. This is an all, this is an all wood pen blank. So I will show you how I do this. So to start off, sometimes I am just a little bit proud of the bushings with my blanks. So uh, sometimes I will use a 120 grit gouge. But once I get down to the bushings, I use Abernet and this is 150 no, not 150, I'm sorry. This is 120 through 400. So 120, 180, then we have 240, 320, and 400. So I like to do this in reverse and I like it when the lathe is under 500 RPMs. So what I'll do is I'll start with this 120 grit Abernet and I will sand in reverse, just going back and forth until I think I have a decent finish on the surface. And I'll do this by checking here, and I think I'm pretty good here. So what I'll do is I'll stop the lathe, and then I will manually turn this with my own hand, and I will sand in the direction of the grain so I can eliminate any of the finer scratches. So I'll do this with all of the grits of Abernet. So once 120 is done, I will turn the lathe back on and we will go up to 180. So again, the lathe is spinning in reverse. I'm sanding at 180. We're at about 450 RPMs right now. I like to aim to be between un, uh, aim to be under 500, and this doesn't take too too long. If I feel that I think I'm there, I'll go ahead and turn the lathe off. Again, I will sand with the grain with the lathe off just to try to eliminate any of the finer scratches. And once I get that, I will move to the next grit. So I won't make you sit through the other grits, but I will bring you back when I'm ready for the next step. Now that we have our blank dry sanded up through 400, I'm going to take off these regular bushings, these pen turning bushings, and I'm going to replace them with non-stick bushings because I'm going to do a CA finish. So I'm going to take this piece off. I'm going to take the blank momentarily off the lathe. I'll take these bushings off and swap them out for non-stick bushings. These non-stick bushings look like this. I just put them one right there, put the blank on the lathe, put the other non-stick bushing, and this just helps for removal when we go to remove our blank after we do our CA finish. The CA will tend to go in places we don't necessarily want it to, so these allow us to easily pop the blank off our bushings instead of potentially damaging the blank with uh, one of these standard bushings. So now that I have this, I've just sanded up through 400 and I've been handling the blank. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to take some denatured alcohol and I'm going to apply the denatured alcohol. And the reason we do this is it cleans the blank from any, uh, fr it frees it from any oils or anything that might have gotten on the blank at the at the time. 
that we were sanding or or whatever because our, our our fingers and our fingers have oils in them so I'm going to apply some DNA some denatured alcohol and you can kind of preview what that blanks gonna look like so now that I have and you can see how dirty the towel got so I just rub that down a little bit there and once I have that I turn the lathe on uh, forward at about 750 rpm and I let that completely dry this has to be completely dry otherwise this isn't gonna work so I'll let that spin and then we'll come back and move on to the next step okay we're back so now that that's been spinning for a minute or two it really doesn't take long I'm gonna turn off the lathe I'm gonna make sure we're good to go and we are just visually inspecting the blank now at this point we've already put the denatured alcohol on so we don't want to touch this uh, at all so what I'm gonna do at this point is I'm going to start to apply my CA finish so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my lathe all the way down in speed and I've seen it done a few ways but what I like to do is I like to take one of these pen component parts baggies and I just slip it over my finger because getting CA glue on your fingers is no fun. I have a strip of paper towel here and I use Mercury fl uh, Flex. Let's see if I can get that to, there we go, get that to focus. I use Mercury Adhesives Thin Flex. I will apply seven coats spraying activator in between each coat and that's it. Now I'm doing this in forward on the lathe and on the slowest speed possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my lathe and even before I do that, I have a towel to make sure that my CA glue doesn't get everywhere on my lathe. That would have been really bad. So I'm gonna turn the lathe on and the slowest my lathe goes is right now it's reading about 215. So I'm going to open up this CA. I'm almost out so I hope I have enough for this demonstration. We'll see what happens. So I'm just going to dab a slight bit of CA on the end of this towel. There we go. And I'm just going to wipe it across a couple times. Make sure you're still always moving because if you stay in one spot the paper towel could catch and you could ruin your blank. So now that I have the CA on there I'm just gonna hit it with a couple quick sprays of activator. Make sure your activator is a, de a decent distance away from your blank. You don't want to be right on top of it. So now that we've sprayed activator we can move on to the next coat. So here is the second coat same thing keep moving it back and forth spray the activator and you're good to keep moving on I'm not gonna make you watch the other five coats because it's just the same process but I will bring you back when I'm done with all seven coats now that we have our seven coats of Thin Flex CA applied with activator in between each coat. Here's the blank. Now that we have this ready to go, I'm going to go through the micro mesh that I have. The micro mesh comes in a set of nine pads. I get the smaller versions. They look like this and they're color coded. I, I've this is a wet sanding system that I use. I do this in forward with the lathe in forward and I usually bump up the speed to about 750 or so. Um, and this is a wet sanding with water. I, because of the wood, uh, it, because of it being a wood blank, I only spend five or 10 seconds on each grit and then I move on. Uh, the micro mesh system again, it is 1500 grit through 12,000 grit. Uh, so it, it leaves a really nice smooth uh, finish on your, on your pen. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and get that started now and uh, we'll turn the lathe on. We are running again in forward. So right now the lathe is getting up to speed. We're at about 750, 760 RPMs. I'm going to wet my micro mesh and I'm just gonna spend a couple seconds here and then I'm going to move on. When you're sanding, make sure that you are always moving and you're not staying in one spot because especially with a CA finish, if you stay in one spot, you could sand through the CA and then you'll have to start over on your entire sanding regimen. You have to sand it back and start over, which isn't the end of the world, but it can be frustrating. So I'm just gonna continue to go through these. And again, there are nine different grits of micro mesh. So once I get through all nine, I will, as I've done in the past, I'll bring you guys back and we'll go from there. Now that we've gone through all of our micro mesh grits, I'm just going to take a dry paper towel and I'm gonna dry the blank off real quick. And again, make sure you're continuing to move because if you stay in one spot, your towel could get stuck. It could grab, it might not be good. You might ruin your blank. So now that we have a dry blank, I'm going to start the polishing process. I use Novus 3, 2, and 1. Here's three, that's the heavy scratch remover. Two is a fine scratch remover. And one, it has it's a spray pump that is a plastic clean and shine. So three gets out the bigger scratches, two gets out the finer scratches, and one uh, basically polishes. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a piece of paper towel, I'm going to fold it in half, I'm going to put a little bit of Novus 3 on the towel and I'm just going to put it on the blank while it's while the lathe is still spinning. I am doing this at 750 or 760 RPMs in forward. I'm just working this in. I'm just working this in. And then once I think I've got it worked in pretty well, I'm gonna take a dry section of paper towel and I'm just gonna run this across to make sure that I've buffed it out. Now that I have that done, I can move on to Novus 2, which is our fine scratch remover. I'll take another piece of paper towel, fold it up, Put some Novus 2 on the paper towel. Sometimes this gets a little clogged up, so you have to make sure that your nozzles are clear. But Novus 3 was a white color. Novus 2 is more of a brownish color. So we'll apply Novus 2 the same exact way we applied Novus 1. We just work it in there until it's virtually gone or we don't appear to see it anymore. Once we've worked it in, I'll take a clean, dry section of paper towel and I'll just wipe it off. Wipe it off, buff it in. And then Novus 1 is our polish. So what I like to do Again, I will fold a piece of paper, and this is a spray pump unlike the others. So I will spray the towel directly, make sure that there's polish on the towel, and then just work it in into the blank. And I'll work that in for a few seconds, and then we're pretty much good to go. So once I have that, I grab a clean, dry paper towel, and just like Novus 1 and 2, I'll go across and make sure we're dry. And that's the end of how I basically finish my wood and resin pen blanks. Thanks for hanging out with me on this one. I enjoyed showing you my method. This is my method as of July 2019. 
my methods have always been evolving since I've started turning pens. I started turning pens about a year and a half or two years ago. So as of July 2019, this is how I finish my wood and resin pens, or not wood and resin, but rather wood and hybrid pens. If you have a different finishing method, leave it in the comments. If you have another technique, go ahead and leave that in the comments. If you wanna have a conversation about pen finishing, we can absolutely do that in the comments. So, if you like this video, if you have any questions, any comments, leave them in the comments. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you get the notification so you don't miss another video of mine. And we'll see you next time.